we have taken on a huge goal. And it's not my goal, it's our goal. And that goal is to double the size of our bioscience industry by 2033. So, 10-year challenge to take our current economic impact in 2021 of $38.54 billion in one year and 10 years from now, get that up to over $77 billion in economic impact in one year. That means more money for schools. That means more money for education. That means more money for students. And it's doable. Many of you know, I'm an economist. I have looked at the numbers. We have the base assets that we need at this point. It's taken us 20 years to build it. There are a couple of things that we need along the way to get to that momentum, to keep it building so that we can grow year on year on year. But we've doubled in 10 years before and we can double in 10 years again. Watch us. We just need partners like Senator Gallant and partners like Governor Hobbs and partners like the philanthropists and the people and the businesses in this room to get it done. So as we go on and look at what needs to be done, we had to think about, you know, what, what do we have? We have amazing universities. We have amazing hospitals. We have invested, as you heard the governor say, $27 billion over the last 20 years. So if we're going to do that, how do we grow? How do we get to that next level? We have had tremendous growth. We are 14th by population. We are now 14th as the number of companies in our ecosystem, which means that in 10 years, we should have no problem getting up to number 10. But here's the thing. We're tw number 22nd in employment. And so the AZ Bio Board of Met Directors wanted to know what was creating that gap. Why was it that we have the companies, but we're not growing them as fast as some of the other states around us? And it came down to three things. And those three things that we need to focus on are our workforce, our students. Now, if you guys haven't figured out yet, I have a soft spot for the students. It's so important because they are our future. The second thing that we moved into and started to look at was how do we support our entrepreneurs? Those of you that are in the industry that have brought drugs and medical devices to market know that, and I've spent over four decades in tech. Yeah, I'm that old. And so over those four decades, I have seen all kinds of industries launch. And I can tell you from experience, there is no industry that is harder than the biosciences. We have regulatory hurdles, we have government hurdles, we now have government pricing hurdles, we have R&D expense issues that are astronomical. And uh, if, if we're gonna take, you know, 10 companies and spin them out of one of our universities this year, one of them will fail within five years. Another will fail within the next three. And if we don't have the funding to move them forward so that they can figure out what they need when they need it and hit those key milestones so they become investable, that's gonna be a key word that you're gonna hear over the next decade, making our companies investable. Because I can tell you, I've been investing since 1987. See, I really am old. And I worked really hard for that money. It's not other people's money. I'm not a VC. I didn't get money from an insurance company to reinvest for them. That's my money. 
And so I want to make sure it's going to do what I think it's going to do. Well, our angel investors feel the same way. And so we have to work with our companies to get them to the stage where they are ready to receive investment. They need the funding. Sometimes that funding is $50,000. Sometimes it's $100,000. Sometimes it's a million dollars to get to the milestones, to give the investors that confidence that, yeah, this one's got a chance to go the distance. This one's got a chance to save the world. So as we look forward, Senator Gallen, when I first started to talk to you about the Health Innovation Trust Fund, and we started thinking about how to make a better Arizona, you understood, you brought people together, you taught us how this could become the engine that drives Arizona forward not just in the next decade, but for generations. Arizona could be home to the Arizona Health Innovation Trust Fund the way the United Kingdom is home to the Wellcome Trust. That's what we have the opportunity to build. That kind of sustainability is essential. So as we move forward, as we look at where we are, where we're going, and how we're going to get there, on slide, I think what we need to keep in mind is that the lazy bio can't do this. The universities by themselves can't do this. The hospitals cannot do this. The legislature and the governor cannot do this. Federal government cannot do this. Nobody can do it in isolation. We all do it together by supporting the students. That is actually one of our student researchers that you're going to be seeing. But supporting the students, supporting the entrepreneurs, and providing that early stage capital that will allow us to continue to grow these companies. The companies will create the health innovations. The health innovations will help the patients. The companies will create the jobs. The jobs will create the economic impact. But it is all of us as a community that will create that change. So I'm asking each of you to join me in a commitment to make this vision a reality. So at your table, you see pins, and they look like this. Now, it's a little tiny pin, but you can see it, right? I want you to pick it up, and I want you to put it on. And I want you to wear it when you see people, and people will say, what are you wearing that pin for? You can say, I have committed to grow the life science sector in Arizona. I am committed to creating healthier people now and for generations to come. I am committed to creating a healthier economy. I am part of the solution that we're all building together. So you're going to see AZ Bio board members wearing those pins. You see me wearing the pin. I am going to be watching all of you to see you wearing those pins. Because the best way to combat the who knew effect is to have the pin and have somebody say, what's that for? And you can start to tell them about the amazing things in our bioscience industry and how it is creating a healthier Arizona. So put on the pins. Join me in making that commitment. It is doable if we all work together. And we all can.